Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you how to use Zenyatta effectively and I want to do this for every single hero in this game a nice little guide on how to play effectively but I feel like some heroes will never come in these videos because I really don't know how to play with them but I'm gonna practice a lot and we'll see how it goes Dreamt I was a butterfly. Okay, remember that the tips I give you won't help help you improve right away. The very best tip I can give you is practice with your hero, and even if you're losing, keep playing with that hero you want to get better at. Because without losing, you can't learn. That is the most important tip of this whole video so keep that in mind you won't become better overnight you have to practice so when playing Zenyatta you have to keep in mind that he is a support hero so don't go to the enemy like an offensive hero or something like that because that's not going to work you have a low mobility and it might be hard to hit targets and because you only shoot once at a time it might just be handy to lower your sensitivity a bit but not too much. Play a bit with your sensitivity and keep it on what you like with Zenyatta and with which sensitivity you hit the most shots. But hitting shots with Zenyatta is not the most important thing when you play Zenyatta. When you play Zenyatta, you have to have your orb of harmony always on someone of your team. Always keep the Orb of Harmony on someone on your team. And I know I just said it, but always keep the Orb of Harmony on one of your team members. Because you're a support hero, you're there, there for healing, and you have to take responsibility for if your team is doing well all around. So, and then another kip, tip comes with that and that is try to have uh, your orb of discord on an enemy as much as possible just like the orb of harmony try to keep it on someone all the time and that's really important and that's a really really good thing about Zenyatta and I'll talk about this more later in this video Okay, let's get right away into the good tips. <laughs> Zenyatta has not a lot of health. So in order not to be a free kill for everyone, you have to have at least one tank and a few offensive heroes. The offensive heroes are important to put pressure on the enemy so they won't pick you as a target right away, but instead the heroes who are annoying them. And the tank hero is there because you want to stay with him as much as possible and behind him because tank and support heroes can help each other out a lot with these objective games that are being played in Overwatch. And here's an example for staying with the tank a lot. Okay, there is a Reinhardt on your team and yours in Yetta, of course. Reinhardt has a slow fire rate or smashing rate so it might take a long long time to get a hero out of the way that's where you come in you put the orb of discord on the enemy to kill him faster and an orb of harmony on reinhardt so he doesn't get killed and he's healed after the kill so you can continue right away else you can use zenyatta on every map but you have to stay near your team Without your team around you, you won't be surviving for long, even with the orbs you have. Now, Zenyatta has the single orb, so like I'm doing in this video, but he can also charge five orbs and shoot them in a row, just like Genji throws his shuriken, but that those are only three. This can be very effective. If you've put a, an orb of discord on an enemy, and you see he's uh, about to come around the corner then you can charge your orbs already and release them the moment he's coming around the corner 
Because when you have an orb of discord on an enemy, you can see them through walls. So that's pretty handy. Also, more than the half of Zenyatta's lives, health, you can say it, is shield. So what shields do is they recharge. So if you watch your health a lot, you can get hit and recover by yourself. Like here. You see that in the bottom left corner? I'm just regenerating, but there's no other healer than me, and Zenyatta can't heal himself. So that's pretty handy about the shields. And just one more tip before I go is watch out for snipers. Snipers are really dangerous to Zenyatta. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you liked this video and maybe learned something of it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace and blessings be upon you all.